So Sony is reportedly working on a new PlayStation handheld device. However, it sounds like this device will only be used for remote play with a PS5. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about this quote unquote remote play only PS5 handheld device that has been leaked, quote unquote, by Tom Henderson from Insider Gaming. Now, He's known for leaking a ton of stuff for the PS5 early on. And then on top of that, he's also kind of said that there is in the pipeline for a PS5 Slim and a PS5 Pro. Both haven't actually materialized into anything. So do take this with a grain of salt. But I did want to make a video on this because it excited me in a way that I haven't been excited for a PlayStation handheld device in a long time granted this one is just a quote-unquote remote play device and to be honest it is kind of disappointing that sony will go this route obviously with the last time at bat with a handheld device they kind of missed the ball when it came to the vita sales wasn't too hot the memory card situation with it being crazy expensive with them not going with sd cards or regular sd cards for that matter they went with the proprietary things that they had with Sony not continuing their entertainment idea or factor with the UMDs and with the PlayStation Portable. Because I think with their first generation PlayStation Portables with a PSP, that was a huge success for them when it came to the handheld market. The idea of, hey, this plays games. Also, it plays movies. And me being, you know, a kid, I wanted something to basically push away from the quote-unquote handheld devices that was just playing Pokemon and the occasional Mario, Zelda. The PSP, on the other hand, felt like a big boy device, an adult device where I could play Grand Theft Auto, Gran Turismo, and also play movies like Superbad. I think the Vita moved away from that quote-unquote entertainment factor, kind of leaned too much on the games and a that's something that it didn't have the best of. There wasn't a ton of third party support. And then again, with the super expensive memory card situation and the system not even coming with a ton of built in memory, that people on the outside looking in, why am I even getting an Evita? What is the purpose? Is it just a uncharted machine or to play one Call of Duty match that wasn't even so good. It let, you know, people like me wanting a little more when it came to the game variety. I'm pretty sure all you guys that love RPGs were satisfied with the Vita, but me, I was kind of on the fence as far as games that I had to play. This, on the other hand, sounds like they're moving away from the games part as well, which to me is it's kind of a head scratcher. It's like you're moving away from the entertainment, then you're moving away from the games. And like now you expect it to do well. I, I, I don't expect this to be the dream everybody has with the Vita 2 or even a PSP 3 where this is going to have games built and made for it. No, I, again, it's built with the idea to use remote play with a PS5. So one, you're going to have to have a PS5. You're going to have to have a 500 dollar console in your home then you're gonna have to buy this remote play ps5 thing which is probably gonna be 300 dollars if i had a guess a mate about how much they could get away with selling a controller with an eight inch screen in the middle depending on how well the that screen looks if it's an oled if it's you know 120 hertz or whatever the case may be if it's you know HDR and this, that, and the third to make your PS5 games look the best, that it's probably going to be a $400 to $500 console. Again, that's only doing remote play. It's going to be kind of uh, iffy. What I do think that this is going to open up is the fact that it's probably going to be really seamless. When, when I say that, I do think that the connectivity is going to be spot on as far as when you jumping into the remote play system of it. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to just power the button on. And because it's a remote play, quote unquote, PS5 directly to your PS5, 
is going to be running a custom PS5 UI and connecting to your console, knowing the games you have in their library, able to play. I think all of that is going to run seamlessly and smooth. However, I do think it's going to suffer when you come to the point where you have to actually play a game. Playing online games are going to be rough on this device, just like it is right now, currently with a remote play on a cell phone or to a tablet. It runs fine and decent if you're both on the same internet connection and, you know, someone's watching something on the TV and you just happen to just you don't want to do daily challenges in Destiny or something like that. Something like you could get stuff done, but you you don't want to have that whole experience tied to re remote playing to a third party device. This being a first party device, you would hope that it would run the best. This will be the best remote play experience. But again, we're still talking about remote play experiences to pay $500 upwards to $500 depending on the screen for a remote play experience to me is a like really really Sony now who knows if they do stick a hard drive on this right <sighs> no 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 I, I, I was gonna say if they stick a hard drive on this big enough to hold uh, like one or two games maybe you could play the, the games natively from there but no you would still need the ps5 hardware built into the system and there's no way they are building the ps5 hardware into a device that you can just hold in your hand like a nintendo switch no way right no way that's gonna be possible the the idea of it being a remote play with the, a ps5 kind of cemented in stone that yeah this is probably true this is probably a device that's going to see the light of day and it's probably a device that a lot of people would buy again i don't see the super casual people who already have a ps5 already have a good tv to play it on jump on this and be like hey i really want to not only play it while I'm sitting down in front of my TV, I, I also want to play it while I'm laying in bed and then pay $500 for that instead of buying a backbone and using the backbone with your phone. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this quote unquote rumor. I think it's a good idea. Well, I buy one. I would want to buy one, but I'm not running out day one if it's just a PS5 remote play device. I might get one down the line if someone was able to hack it and it could do some emulation maybe or able to run other stuff on it. But we have to see it. We have to see how it looks, see how it feels, see how it is in hand for me to make a definitive addition of whether i would drop bread on it but let me know what you think about it in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here i go by daddy give a fred i do videos like this every day discussion videos playing games fortnite call of duty last of us whatever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.